So I was looking at the peasant that we made in the last video, and I noticed that in his decay bone he looks fine, but in uh, the decay bone that we imported in from the footman, he doesn't actually turn into a skeleton. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, we actually do want him to turn into a skeleton there. So to fix that, uh, just import from uh, import from the footman, and we're going to basically fix that right now. Uh, so let's do it. So this will take a second to load, obviously, but um, once it loads in, uh, we should be able to fix it. And this process would be a little bit different if you were uh, sort of do it all in one step, but I'm, I'm just sort of doing a correction step where the footman decay bone and the footman decay flesh, we're going to do a time scale into pre-existing. We're going to mer like merge them into the ones that are already in the peasant. And watch out because the auto suggest here is suggesting we merge it to the peasant. That's not what I want to do. I want to merge it to the footman copy in the peasant model, which is the second one. By default, the, the auto suggests by name is auto suggesting the first, but I want the second one. Okay, great. So then we get to the bones. Uh, we actually don't care what the bones are doing because we did that correctly in the last one. Uh, same with the objects. So the only thing that's really wrong here is visibility. Um, and so basically the way we want to fix that is uh, just kind of like widen this so you can actually see the options here. Great. So they both have this um, peasant human male corpse business going on. So you can see that in the case of the footman, uh, I think it's pretty similar to the peasant here. But yeah, basically what I'm thinking is just go to uh, these and tell the peasant one to do the same thing that the corpse one is doing. Uh, here, defeat layer transparent. Uh, we want to just try to link them up as much as possible. And it's pretty weird that the footman doesn't seem to have uh, doesn't seem to have anything on these two. So I guess just leave those. Uh, yeah, definitely make these that have animation have the same animation as the footman imported in. Uh, and we're going to do that to the geo sets here again. So uh, footman, oh yeah, so the footman has a problem that this, now we're importing from a version of the footman where I didn't delete all the geosets, but we remember that 8 and 9 were the same ones we used in the last video, so we're just going to use those again. That should be fine. So we overwrite 8 and 9 here, and then there's another trick that I didn't do yet, uh, which is this favor original component when combining. So right now we're writing, there's going to be two animations, like decay bone is already there, and then we're importing this new one, and so there's like two incoming sets of data, and we want to use the one that was not originally with this model. We're actually trying to like overwrite it. So we have to uncheck this box that says don't uh, don't favor original. So if I do that and I click finish, uh, then what this should I think do is make his decay bone actually turn into a, a dead body. Although it doesn't look like it worked. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, it's definitely supposed to work. I uh, don't really know why that didn't work. Maybe as he, uh, as he fades there it would... Nope. No, I don't think it did. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, we got to think about why is that uh, why is that not working there. Uh, so he falls over like a footman, and then he starts here fading. And this animation, this looks like this might be correct because I think I saw the skeleton appear there. So maybe in this one the skeleton will start appearing. I almost wonder also if I save this, how does it look in the game? So peasant test footman two. Uh, yeah, so I could try to start that up here. Let's see if I can launch the, uh, the game. Uh, yeah, okay. Got to do that. Got to log in. Alright, great. So here's the editor. What I'm going to do is basically just test this model and their display. Sometimes my previewer is not correct about the model. So we did do the transfer and I'm surprised it didn't work. And it might be that it just didn't work. But I wanted to make sure that it actually didn't work and what I'm not seeing is not just like a bug in like my preview thing. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Where do we save this? This is in the test folder. Sorry. So we're in uh, models test, peasant test, footman 2. Great, and then we'll go in here, and now we can actually preview uh, in something that's pretty much almost always accurate here. Oh, look at that. Okay, I've got some weird mod turned on. But anyway, here's our peasant, um, and now we're previewing it with the actual game, so it should be an accurate preview. Uh, so anyway, he's got a uh, footman stand going on there. Some of them I changed to stand alternate, but in general they're all working. 
And the interesting question is about the death animations and decay. So he has decay flesh as a peasant, which is there, and decay flesh as a footman, but clearly the decay bone is wrong. Interesting. Uh, oh, I know why that is. Okay, do you know why that is? You might be watching this and you might already be thinking to yourself, oh, I know why that is. Uh, so let's do it again. Let's do what I did again, but I messed it up. Let's do it correctly. Uh, basically, the underlying problem is that we fixed the visibility of the, uh, the bones, but I didn't fix the visibility of the guy to disappear, which is really important. We gotta make the guy disappear, so let's do that. Gotta wait for our pop-up again. Okay, great. So we're just gonna click leave all and everything. Um, for animations, we want to do the exact same. Uh, the two decay animations, we got to import them. We got to make sure to choose the footman variation of that. This would be a lot clearer if we had renamed them to decay bone alternate for the footman or whatever. Uh, then that would be that would be great. That would be simpler. Uh, cool. We still don't need anything with bones. We still don't need anything with objects. So we'll go back to uh, here. Now this thing, when it's full screen and it's a tiny display like this for recording a video doesn't really let me uh, stretch this all the way across, which is annoying. But So here we have this problem of all these geosets. We know that 4, 5, 6, we don't care about. Uh, but I think 7, 8, 9, and 1, 2, and 3, and we could, you know, you could confirm this with just quickly passing your mouse over uh, what's in here, right? 1, 2, 3 are definitely the guy. Um, 7, 8, and 9. Well, not 9. Okay, 7 and 8. Sorry, 7 and 8 are the... Uh, I'm used to the, the old days. It was only one geoset for the bones. Cool, so one, two, three, se uh, and seven, eight. So these things, we have to do the same process again that we did last time, and we sort of have a problem of what do we uh, what do we link them to? So I'm gonna use Geoset one from the footman, which should just be some generic piece of metal or something. Uh, basically, whatever is his, his main base there. So if I click finish on that, uh, I believe that should hopefully, uh, didn't work, did not work, okay, well, I don't know why that didn't work. That's kind of dumb. Uh, you know what I did, now I do see there though, actually, is that the, uh, the hammer is messed up. The hammer was it. Okay. So, all right, we'll do it again. Um, speaking of that, is actually is the hammer messed up in anything else? Like death? Does he have the hammer? No, it's only messed up in that one geoset. Oh no, maybe it is. Wait, the hammer is in that animation. What about stand alternate? Oh yeah, all these animations are showing the hammer. Well, that's screwed up. All right. Well, we can get rid of that. But uh, yeah, let's let's do this. Let's corrective thing and actually correct it the right way. So, uh, now let's do that. We, it, ideally, we wouldn't do this many times, right? This is me figuring out the model. What you actually want to do is, uh, is do it one time. That will go a lot better. Uh, great. So, leave everything, leave everything, and transfer decay, transfer the other one. Okay, leave all that, leave all this. Cool, now we're back to here and we gotta fix what I did wrong the last time. So there's two things I think that I did wrong the last time. One of them is that uh, the geosets one, two, three, seven, eight need to pull from footman one. And I don't actually remember last time if I unchecked this favorite component box, but maybe I did. So the other problem is in the old days, the way that these models were originally made, um, if something disappeared like that, it would always be the geosets making it disappear because uh, you get better efficiency that way. It can be associated with the bones in the render. But uh, Blizzard didn't really know all that when the new team was there, and th they used the textures instead. So we actually need to do the same thing on the textures. Uh, I think we might only have to do it on the diffuse layer, but we need to line up these diffuse layers. So basically, peasant whatever diffuse should line up to uh, footman whatever main diffuse and basically I think a lot of these should just uh, should just be lined up pretty much that same way so hasn't main diffuse here um, normal ORM a lot of the other stuff I think can stay the same this one is probably gonna go to oh now here we have a problem both of these have the same name which is stupid and bad uh, it can create problems so make sure you control click them both and just click one of these because uh, it's just better that way. Um, hair, this thing, link with the peasant hair, golden lumber, axe, a hammer you don't have to worry about because we're just not, oh, maybe the axe, sure, we'll put the axe in there. Uh, link it up with footman sword, that should be good. Um, yeah, I think that should pretty much do it. Then the other thing you want to do is, and we're, I'm just, I'm just starting with the diffuse layers because I think that might be the only one you have to actually change. Um, we're going to go to each of them and actually this one as well and, and toggle that on and off so that, um, 
basically my goal is to make it that every single one of these, if I click here, if I click here, if I click here, they're all unchecked. The problem is there's a programmatic error that needs to be fixed that because these two have exactly the same uh, name value, when I click this one, it edits that one. So I have to I have to control click both of them to affect both of them. Otherwise, you can't do anything that would ever change the data for this one. That's really screwed up, and hopefully someday that'll be fixed. Been that way for like eight years. I just, uh, typically in in the old days uh, they wouldn't have two textures with the same name like that. Well, actually, I guess they would. Yeah, no, I think it's just broken. It's just a bug in my program. Anyway, we fixed it. So I clicked finished. Um, now what you're gonna see is the bone actually looks this way. Um, I'm actually a little bit curious why the hammer disappears, or why the axe disappears, but the um, main point I'm trying to make is that now, having done that, uh, if you were to make these like alternate, see there you go, like now the peasant partway through decay flesh disappears, I think it's actually a fade, but of course my previewer doesn't preview fade correctly uh, on reforged models. I think it does for classic models, but not for reforged models. So anyway, yeah, um, now we have that. Uh, it's basically looking pretty good. And we probably want to get rid of that hammer too. So let's do that. We're going to import from unit. Uh, we're going to import from this footman and we'll get rid of the hammer or something. Um, yeah. Actually, you could use the farm for this one too. That might make that easier. Um, Basically, we just want to make the hammer invisible and in all the new animations. So we're just going to import some random animation like stand. You know, just like leave everything. Just click leave all. Oh, I've got a lot of lag there. Yeah, just click leave all. Import stand. Uh, translate into everything. Uh, all this stand alternate business down here. Yeah, it's basically all that stuff. Uh, yeah, we're just basically putting stand into all of that. We're leaving out bones and nodes and all that. So the only thing we're changing is visibility, right? And this is my goal here is that the, um, the visibility of this one, which should be editable if you have a bigger monitor. Really need to fix that. Okay, great. So remember we were doing a lot with 1, 2, 3, and 7, 8, and that's because 4, 5, 6 are the other thing. But which one's the hammer is the question, right? The hammer is, um, is 8 down here. So yeah, just go to Geoset 8 and make it not visible. And all those animations were merging, and then make sure to not favor, so like use the merge version, not use the original. Cool. So now if you click finish on that, uh, that should just unilaterally eliminate the hammer from all of the footman animations because that's really weird and stupid that it was ever there to begin with. Um, and if you go back to the peasant animations like stand work, we have not affected the original... Oh, that's fun. That's pretty fun. Wait a second. I guess we did affect it somehow. I didn't know that. Thought we fixed that. Was that old? Was that in this version? That stand work was messed up. Or how does that even work? When does he ever use the hammer? Like even the original peasant. When does the original peasant ever use? Okay, original peasant. When do you ever use the hammer? It's just in, um, is it in one, like, stand four? Or, like, stand victory or something? Does he have a stand victory? Why is there even a hammer? I'm forgetting when he ever uses the hammer. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Alright, well, you know, in times like these, the best solution to a problem is sometimes the simplest one. Don't do what I said before, just delete the hammer. What's it for? I don't know. It's gone now. Okay, great. So, oh, maybe some of those cinematic animations? Maybe you had like a cinematic hammer in it. I don't even see that. I don't think so. Anyway, yeah, so great, um, now we did that, you save this as like version 3, and the main point, our main goal here, was fixing the decay animations, um, 
so let's check that out. Let's see if we did that. Footman 3 here. Cool. So he has stand ready. He's got these footman animations. Um, but most importantly, along with normal animations and footman animations and all kinds of stuff going on, uh, there's peasant death. Here's footman death. Uh, and then here's uh, footman decay flesh, which is supposed to fade. So that's our key question here. Does the footman fade to a bones in that animation, which hopefully it does. Hopefully we fixed it and it does. Uh, and then you would just have to do the part of renaming it to um, uh, rename it to alternate. And my advice on that one is use the troll headhunter. Some of the names are really specific. Like, I think there's something about how decay alternate bone doesn't work. Or no, I think is is required and decay bone alternate doesn't work. Something like that. So make sure the, the ordering of the names is the same. I know that's really painful, but it has to be. Anyway, if you look up here, you can clearly see that uh, things are pretty much working as expected here, um, which is making me wonder, when we think about the footman, does the footman's sword fade the way our axe fades, or do we consider that a mistake? Uh, and you could ask yourself that. Let's see, here's, okay, so I'm using a High Elves mod still that I really need to disable um, that's interrupting our ability to preview footman. Here we go, here's the footman. So, um, in the footman animation, yeah, here we go. This thing, my question was, does the sword fade with the rest of the armor in this animation? I guess it probably does. Uh, assuming it does, then everything is how it should be, but I was just going to try to double check that really fast. Unfortunately, I guess that's going to take 60 seconds, so uh, yeah, you could uh, you could finish watching right now if you're not interested to see this and you already, you already remember. I'm just getting a refresher here. Uh, but I was just curious, you know, because if the sword didn't fade, we might want to consider, like, just keeping it around uh, with the axe and the other one, but... Uh, I don't know. I was interested to see that. Yeah, I guess it uh, really doesn't, does it? It looks like the sword does not fade. So you could do the same thing, right? You could say, okay, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I think that's pretty, pretty artistic that the footman disappears and his armor sits behind, uh, and then it's the same in decay bones. So you could do one more of our tweak steps here. Um, import. From uh, oh sorry I clicked workspace and we got to import from unit again we got to import from the footman so yeah we could do that uh, the key is going to be to find the footman's axe and apply that to the peasant's uh, sorry the footman's sword and apply it to the peasant's axe and so again we have this problem where I need to show the names in the import menu I really should do that the fact that it doesn't is pretty annoying but what I like to do is just go back in here and check them so like we know that what we're interested in on the peasant is going to be item seven. And what we're interested in on the footman is going to be items uh, six and seven. Really could use either one, but how about six? So basically, we're going to copy, just leave everything here. Um, animations, basically leave them out except uh, decay flesh. We're going to match up here to the peasant. Uh, same with decay bone. Uh, leave out all the bone animations, leave out all the objects. And so now we can do this visibility tweak that we wanted to do all along, which is to say that uh, in the peasant, Geoset 7 should use 6 from the footman. And we'll turn that off and click finish here. And I'm a little bit hopeful that our previewer, sorry, we're in the wrong model, uh, peasant, our previewer for decay bone. Yeah. See, now this is how you'd want it to be that the weapon remains, uh, basically, which is kind of like what we're seeing here in the footman. Um, and I guess in Decay Bone at some point it'll fade, and it should be, it should do the same because we like blended it. It should hopefully do the same here for us. But uh, yeah, so here's Peasant Four, um, and I think it should be I think it should be pretty good on that one. Uh, we probably don't even need to check it. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's pretty much what you want to do. Uh, yeah, you can see that disappears at some point, which is just how it was in the footman. So yeah, that's kind of like how you tweak it. Uh, yeah, good luck.